have entered the prep zone. We're here at Fountain Blue Stadium, Bulldog Stadium, for a wonderful match here in soccer season. We've kicked it off. St. Paul's Wolves facing off against the Fountain Blue Bulldogs. It's going to be a sensational time here. Rhett Sharp alongside Andrew Franzella to call this one for you. Rhett, what are we looking for tonight from St. Paul's? Andrew, this is going to be a big time matchup. If you like soccer, if you like Louisiana soccer, then you can't do any better than this tonight. We've got a front row seat for you at Channel 13. Um, St. Paul's uh, state champion two years ago, got to the finals last year, lost to Jesuit. Found blue aspirations to do the same thing you know, that St. That Paul's been doing. Also, these two teams are very well acquainted with one another. They all know one another on the team. They play on club level against one another when they're not playing in high school ball. So this is just a great matchup, and I'm ready for it. Yeah, it would be a, a huge victory for Fountain Blue if they were able to pull this one off. We just saw the girls beat SSA, so going to be a great one for you. Sit down, strap in, and get ready. And we are underway on the pitch for a great matchup between the Wolves and the Bulldogs. We just watched a wonderful match. You're probably not uh, watching this, uh, you're probably watching it segmented. But we saw SSA fall to um, to the Lady Bulldogs, and now the men trying to do the same thing to the St. Paul Wolves, who are ranked number four right now in the polls. Fountain Blue retained possession early, but now Fountain, uh, excuse me, St. Paul is moving it down here in this near sideline. Controlling is Cameron Robinson, and then giving it back. He slips. Yeah, a lot of people have been slipping on this field tonight. It's a little slick. Um, I guess the dew point might be getting the grass a little slick for everybody, is my guess. Heck of a point from my good friend, Rhett Sharp, near side, and kicking it back. Now to this back line, there's Jack Lynch. Lynch, a senior. Headed forward, far side, Reed Kirk for Fountain Blue. Battling alongside the captain from the Wolves, Zachary Richard. It's going to be a throw in for the Wolves. Nice ball right here into the box. Trying to clear it out are the Bulldogs. Kicked ahead by Barrick Roberts. Ball goes deep and the goal is going to have to come out. And that's a whiff right there. Very wow. fortunate his defender was back there to help him out. Yeah, you don't want to see that uh, if you're a, a wolf right now. Um, yeah, he can't come out that far and, and not and not make connection with that ball. So we'll see how we'll see. It was just kind of a miscommunication. I think he thought that the back defender was going to touch it, and the, I think the vice versa for the other guy. And and there we have it. But n no harm, no foul as we play on Fountain Blue ball. A couple minutes into this game. We've seen uh, both teams shake off a little bit of dust and uh, really start to get physical. Yeah, I said it before the game here. Both these teams, these guys play together at the club level. Mm -hmm. I mean, all of them. So they, they all know one another very mm -hmm. well. So that makes it for another dynamic in this game. Connor Tipton threw it in there for the Bulldogs. Nice play right there, Francois. Moving it forward, Roberts. Passing it down to that far corner. Ball kept in, now it's gonna be crossed in the middle. Wow. And had somebody there, but trickles past and uh, now the Wolves control. Man, this, this gets quick. That was uh, Cameron Robinson, the senior, number 16 for the Wolves, moving it down this near sideline before it was kicked out. Throw in Johnny Lawrence for Francois. Great and pass. Yeah, that was Robinson right there on the pass looking for the captain, Richard. Richard here on your near side. Couldn't quite get the handle on that one out of yeah. bounds. You'll notice right off the top, St. Paul's the ability to pass the ball is uh, is really really they're they're great. 
at uh, field vision. Really what, I, what I've noticed, um, I was actually going to say that. Um, so it's kind of weird that you noted that. But yeah. the other thing I was thinking is, man, just the speed of this game. Yeah. All these players are so quick. You know, it, it's – we'll really start to see, you know, who mm -hmm. is – the most quick, you could say, but you know, I think whether you're a defender or a striker, all these guys are very speedy. And, and as I'm saying this, moving into the corner, Grant Abair, who puts it into the box and dangerous ball right there, and what an opportunity for St. Paul's comes up empty. Fountain Blue dodges an early, an early, uh, you know, chance there for St. Paul's. Another opportunity for the Wolves. And it's just that that subtle touch that I'm noticing in soccer yeah. that is really all the difference maker. You know, you go up, and it's that hesitation, and then just touch to the side yep. and move that defender out. Here's a free kick. We're staring at uh, Giovanni Sakura along with Cameron Robinson. Uh, now Sakura is going to walk away. Check that. That would be Ginn. But uh, here's Robinson. Robinson with the kick, and it's going to be deflected. Boy, that uh, that had some serious pace on it. It did. It really did. I, I, uh. Here comes the corner kick for the Wolves. So the Wolves are pressing early. Corner into the box. Oh. Wow, incredible ball and just can't get the header down. Yep. But dangerous play, huh? Michael Lawrence will uh, have the goal kick. Nice ball, landing at midfield. Trying to flick it was uh, Alex Ingerizer. And now Fountain Blue has an opportunity. Here's the Bulldogs. Trying to find it over the middle. Good defense from the Wolves. Looking for a through ball. Yeah. Almost. And look how quick. Yeah, it's, it's just all already back going the other way. That was uh, Davis Nitschman who handed off to Robinson. And Robinson shows some ambition. Flicks it right to Lawrence, though. Nice punt. And coming off for the Wolves, Nitschman. Here's Ginn, flipping on that far side to Trevor Watkins. Watkins, the junior, he's got two goals in the season. Man, just off the bounce, just putting a flick on it and uh, off right post. But you can see the skill of the uh, Wolves play players here early. What do you think Fountain Wolf has to do? I mean, I, I think they have a tall task here in this match, but yeah, you know, we haven't seen either team play, but but uh, their reputation that St. Paul's has is, is is really strong. I think Fountain Blue is going to have to just stay stay uh, that back line is going to have to stay stay with them, and um, it's going to be a tall order. But at the same time, we've seen Fountain Blue already with a couple of opportunities. Um, it's just going to be a, a, a a fun one to watch unfold here. You know, if Fountain Blue can, like you said, bend but don't break right. for their defensive back line, they can make a move. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, that's the one beautiful thing about soccer is all it takes is one great opportunity. That's it. And you can knock it home. Trying to flick it ahead. That was Roberts. 50-50 ball. In the air, kicked up by Ginn. Thrown in by Nitschman to Ginn. Right off the back of Francois. Francois getting in the mix. And ball goes out the far side. St. Paul's with the throw in. Boy, the Wolves are really pressing here early offensively. Yeah. 
throw in into the box. Look what a throw. Throw in, yeah, great throw in. That's almost like a corner. Yep. Coming up and trying to rip it across. Dangerous ball. And cleared out. Nice play. Ball popped way up in the air. Up the line, out of bounds. Man, I can't just say enough about the speed and then the control at the high speeds uh, mm -hmm. that they're moving. Yeah, both teams. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. There is no doubt about it. Settled. Now moving forward, the other captain, Daniel Garraway, kicks it forward. I tell you, you got to be careful, Red. I mean, I, I look down to find a name, and I yeah. look back up, and the ball is Somewhere 30 up, yards yeah. from where I felt it was going to be. No doubt. Far sideline. That was A Bear kicking it forward, looking for Garraway. Francois. Kicking it all the way back to Lawrence, who's got to get rid of it. Ooh, wow. That kind of broke down on the on the Bulldogs a yeah. little bit. Not really what they wanted to do. I mean, Obviously when you when you pass it back like that, the goalie uh, can't can't pick it up with his hands. Dangerous ball in the box, and I, mean, I don't know how the Wolves didn't punch it home right there. Opportunity now shot, shot on goal. Going to go off the back. Another shot across. And oh man, look. Going to stay the in. Ball kind of trickles. Yeah. We're about 11 minutes in to this match between the Wolves and the Bulldogs. You're on a beautiful, breezy night in Mandeville, Louisiana. Nice ball. Yeah, great ball right here. Here's Roberts on that far side, but is he going to come up? Yeah, it's going to be a corner kick. So this corner is a kick. great opportunity for the Bulldogs. No doubt. Colin Hanley, the uh, goalkeeper for the Wolves, is orchestrating his set. Look for a back post shot. Great ball inside. Punched up yeah. by Hanley, and then he's going to punch, punch it, it out. out. And ball way off target. Yeah. But I feel like he could have maybe caught that ball instead of punching it the second time. I don't know. Yeah. It's weird angles up here, but. Maybe just to make sure. Yeah. Hanley. Gets under it. Nice kick right there. And that's really, for me, where, you know, I guess the uh, the danger meets reality. Mm -hmm. Off the goal kicks. Yep. When that ball is just soaring. Yeah. And you want to go up for it. But, right. I mean, you, you know there's going to be a collision, you know? I mean, all the time, you know you, there's going to be somebody right there with you. And that's really the 50-50 the, the ball, like we talked about uh, in the previous game. Those are the kind of things you have to you have to win those challenges. Mm -hmm. Far side, jostling. Reed Kirk <clears throat> battling it out. Now it's going to be crossed in. Look at that cross. I don't know how that stayed in. It almost felt like it went around the goalpost. Crossed in again. Header, header. Looking to the corner. Kirk finally able to clear it out on that far side. It's going to be Wolves throw in. Throw in now in the uh, middle of the field. Pass near side. St. Paul's all over the field right now. I mean, utilizing the entire pitch. There's Garraway. Oh, and here's an opportunity for the Wolves. Punched up, and Lawrence is chasing. Bulldog defense 
getting it done right now. Yeah, the defense is hanging in there. It just feels like a, a matter of time before the Wolves is able to put one home, though. There's just no attack right now for the Bulldogs. Right. And just now they had you know three players in one area. Chasing down the far sideline. A bear. Garraway to Richard. Now inside the box. I mean, just dangerous ball after dangerous ball, Rhett. Here's an opportunity for Fountain Blue. Kicks it off to the right side, and Roberts kicks it right into a Wolves defender. And here's an opportunity again for St. Paul's. And Lawrence comes up and fishes that one out. Yeah. Nice punt. That ball taken away. And even right there, you know, Johnny Lawrence is looking to line it up and punch it deep. Mm -hmm. Wolves, uh, Wolves striker coming over and kind of messing up his plans. And there's a ball going right across the pitch. Roberts, Eric Roberts, now passing it over to Dwayne Goff. Goff, using his body nicely, weaving through, and then loses it. Roberts, heavy touch, now puts it on goal. No. And it's hard to see from this angle. Nice pace, but accuracy not there. Way off goal, and it's going to be a goal kick. Here's the goal kick from Hanley. Kept on the ground. Now moving toward near side, bottom of your screen. And kicked out by a Wolves player. Now it's kicked out by a, uh, a Fountain Blue player. Wolves threw in. Coming up on 17 minutes in to this first half. Nil, nil. St. Paul's Fountain Blue. Ball popped up. Oh, nice play right there. Good takeaway, and then hits it ahead, but just too far. And Hanley's going to scoop it up. And we, we talked about this uh, in the prior game, but just the nature of trying to get it over the back line. Right. But in between, you know, the goalie, so you have an opportunity to put it on goal. Yeah, and I said that you had made a, a really, really a great observation. Oh. And here comes a nice run. What an opportunity for the Wolves Shot. and puts it on goal. That was uh, Nitschman, who is tied as the leading goal scorer for the Wolves. He's got five on the season. He's got some wheels, too. That kid's fast. Yeah, that was one touch and then just put on the burners. Yeah. And then flicked it with the left foot. Getting back to the previous point, I told you the first game when you said you have to get it over the back line and then drop it in for the shot. Mm -hmm. And it, uh, I thought it's a, it's a great observation. That's what you want to do. I mean, that's what you're taught from, from a really young age. You know, to, to, you got to get – because there's offsides involved too, which is also, you know, every striker's nightmare. Um, so really, one of the finer points of soccer is to be able to get it over that line drop it in for the shot, beat the offside trap, and uh, and score a goal. Here's the throw in. Connor Tipton on the far side. Francois back to Tipton. Working the triangles. And now Tipton loses it. Taken over by Bear, who kicked it up. Ball in the middle of the field. Header by... Taylor Chugden. 
Oh, we got a little, get a little grabby out there. Yeah, getting a little physical. Yeah. I'm pretty sure these two teams probably don't care for one another too much. <laughs> I can't imagine that they would. No. I mean, I wasn't a part of this. I went to Mandeville, and you went to Covington, but, right. you know, depending on your sport, there's a great ball into the box. Back post, and, man, great soccer IQ by Goff on that backside, to, you know, to throw it right back into the box. We got a trip. And that's going to be a trip. So free kick for. Referee going to tell him to dial it back a, a, a little bit. <laughs> Dial it down, as we say. So as a player, I mean, do you just know that when you look at the referee? Is he actually talking to you, or is he just uh, – I feel like from up here I can't really see. but Oh, he's talking. Yeah, he'll you know, talk. He's just yeah, saying the no. The referee will tell you, man, look, calm it down. It's okay. So is that side sort of an unofficial warning? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you don't want a, a game like this to, to get – you know, I like a physical game. But you don't want to get out of control, and the referee has to. That's one of his jobs is to make sure that it doesn't turn into just a free for all. Because I mean, these games can get rough. These guys are, you know, really uh, they're peak athletes, mm -hmm. and um, and soccer's a rough sport anyway. So the referee, his job, and he's doing a good job so far, is to just kind of make sure that that doesn't go too far. Ball is going to that far right. corner. Yeah. And somehow kept in play. I mean, just the control. Like you said, peak athletes. I mean, yeah. uh, just great players in the pitch. Really getting to watch a uh, great match here tonight. Yeah. You're tuning in with us. You're at Channel 13. Whether you have been watching or you're just joining us, it's a 0-0 match right now between the St. Paul Wolves and the Fountain Blue Bulldogs. You're at Bulldog Stadium. Andrew Franzella, Rhett Sharp to join you, and what a wow. ball right there from yeah. that far side. I mean, I'm just catching somebody up. and Yeah, the, the goalie, I think he would have had it covered. He played a, a great ball. It, it never touched the goal, never got close, but it went across the face, and that is a dangerous, dangerous thing to see as a goalkeeper. Ball ricocheted a couple times and then goes out of play. Wolves retain possession. And here comes a throw in. Alejandro. Working the give and go with uh, Tipton. Here's Tipton controlling to Alejandro. Francois. Nice movement here from the Bulldogs, and then it dissipated. Yeah, they're going to need to do that on a more consistent basis. Wow, what a play right there. And that was great. Here's Nitschman. Great ball. Nitschman trying to go with the left foot and somehow keeps it up, throws it back, and yeah, just the, the one-two combination from the strikers mm -hmm. where he just flicked it, right. and then Nitschman just knew to run. I mean, great team chemistry shown there by the Wolves. That's kind of one of the, the trademarks of, of the St. Paul's team is they're just on the same page, always. Nice settle right there by Brian Morgan. Flicks it back, Alejandro chasing. Fountain Blue coming out with the ball. Quinn Roberts draws a foul. Nice play right there by Roberts. A lot of running for Quinn there. <laughs> it was a good play. Here's Dwayne Goff, senior midfielder. Goff. Going to try and send this one in. Nice high flick, but St. Paul's right there and recovers. Francois quickly throws it in, 
and receives the pass back and flicks it to nobody in the middle of the field. Coming up for play, Reed Kirk. Nice pass. Tipton. Here's Goff. Goff looking for Alejandro. Just seems like a mosh pit right there at the edge of the box. And as much as the Wolves were pressing early, mm -hmm. I think the uh, Bulldogs have really settled down into a nice scheme defensively and really limited the attacks, even making a couple themselves. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you. that They've settled down a little bit, but it's just like this. Uh, I mean, they're going to have to. Nitschman. Nitschman's fast. He is quick. It, but he, but he's, and he, he doesn't have a problem with dropping the ball back either, which is great. Great defense from the Bulldogs. Yeah, Nitschman seems like one of those guys that's uh, very advantageous, you yeah. know. Um, well, I feel like if he's got a shot off the off the the breakaway, he'll take it. But if he doesn't, he's he's got the ball. He can just drop it back and let somebody else try to either take a shot or or regroup. He he seems to be trying to get to that left foot because mm -hmm. every time he has that breakaway, yeah, he he likes to punch it down to the left side and then come in with and flick it. But like you said. He's not afraid to just drop it off. Sure. But he is very quick. Here comes a free kick taken by uh, the goalkeeper, Colin Hanley, sophomore. Hanley, nice ball. And gets all the way through to Lawrence. Punt, high ball, trying to control Alejandro, and kicked out by the Wolves. Roberts. Nice play right here, give and go. Here's Robinson. We haven't heard from him in a while. Nice run from Robinson. Robinson trying to cross it inside, and it's deflected. Wolves still control. Crossing it over, and just the pitch right now, it seems at the, at the peak uh -huh. in the middle, it's yeah. okay. But at the sides, there seems to be a, I, mean, I don't know how long ago it rained, but it's certainly affecting the players. Yeah, they're slipping a little bit. The field looks great, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, so, you know, football's over, and they've been really taking care of it here. You can tell. Or side flick. A little over 10 minutes left in uh, this first half between St. Paul's and Fountain Blue. Great defense right there by Fountain Blue, but ends up to a St. Paul's player, Morgan. Near side. <coughs> and kicked out eventually. Throw in for St. Paul's, but we're going to get a substitution first. Throw in will be from Morgan, the sophomore, who's tallied two goals on the year. Nice ball right there. Garraway punches it in. Over the top. Ambitious. Here's a kick from Lawrence. I gotta tell you, Andrew, I'm impressed with the Bulldogs right now. Um, their defense is, is showing up right now, and um, I, I gotta tell you, if they can get a little bit of offense going mm -hmm. and kind of balance out this 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 game, this could turn into just a, a, a slugfest going down the stretch. 
I think you're definitely right about that. I mean, Mountain Blues had a, a couple of chances, not one great chance. Right. Um, you know, they had the corner kick. Nothing like St. Paul's has had. Mm -hmm. But like you're saying, you know, they can continue to um, work as a team and be cohesive offensively. Yeah. You know, here's a good opportunity right here. They get a throw in. They can toss it in the box. Wolves going to mark up. Nice throw in right here into the box. Punch out by the goalie and kicked up. A little bit of a slip, and that seems to affect the defense right there by Markham. Robinson passes it back, and now there's a ball going forward, but futile effort as Lawrence comes up and recovers for the Bulldogs. You get the feeling like it's going to be, it's going to have to be a complete game from the, from Fountain Blue mm -hmm. um, to to make this to make this go the distance. And, and to me, you also get the feeling that that St. Paul's could really kind of strike at any moment. They're so fast up front. Mm. So that's the um, I think that's going to be the theme throughout this match. Yeah, I think that's a, a great point. It does sort of have that feeling from the Wolves mm -hmm. where you just never know when they'll toss a long ball. Right. And Nitschman with his speed. Bad ball right there. Fortunately, the Wolves come up with it shot. and put a shot on goal. And just hits off the side of the net. It's the side netting. That I mean, was a how, great shot. Kept it low. Yeah, how difficult is that when it's a low beamer like that and it sort of skips for yeah, the goalie. That's, that's the most difficult uh, you know, to, to me that's the most difficult ball to defend. That ball's on target and especially, like you said, if it takes a bounce who knows, man. You gotta really judge that correctly. Letting him play on that far side. That was uh, Christian Carigliano for the Wolves going up for it. and He didn't meet the pass right there, did Alejandro? No. No, he didn't, he didn't come to it. You mentioned that in uh, our first game that we did mm -hmm. between the Lady Bulldogs and the Doves. Yep. Talking about meeting the pass in soccer. Yeah, you got you got to come to the ball, and you'll see it. You'll see it pretty often if you watch for it. You, you'll see players actually, you know, doing some great, great movement off of the ball. They call it. You know, half the the passing game is what these players do when they don't have the ball. You know. Mm -hmm. Nice ball into the box. Dangerous. Wolves try to come up and rip a shot. Not going to work. Bounces it out to Trevor Watkins. Throws it in. Francois kicks it up. About seven minutes left to play in this first half. And so you can tell right there. The uh, Bulldogs sank back defensively, didn't have anybody going forward. Mm -hmm. And now they're going to try and play a through ball. Great ball right there from Ginn, but. It was. Flicks it forward, does uh, Kyle Stevens. Hanley will come up with it. Nobody back there for the Bulldogs. Rigliano passes it off. Now they switch fields. It just seems to be what the Wolves do. They just have great vision. And now moving quickly down and looking for A Bear. A Bear near side. Poked out, and it's going to be a corner kick. Corner kick. Corner for the Wolves. And a critical time for the Bulldogs. They can just hold on here and go 0-0 zero to zero at, at half. I mean, Coach Ditchendorf would have to be satisfied. Absolutely. Absolutely. Here comes the corner. Richard. Nice low cross. Well, you almost had the feeling that could go yeah. in without anybody touching it. That was a great, a great corner. A 
We're going to have a substitution. And now the throw in. Soft touch by Richard. Kicked out. Wolves retain possession. About five minutes left to play here in this half. 0-0 zero, zero between the Wolves and the Bulldogs. Early season matchup for you. Handball. Handball right there. Referee right on that one. So is it, it's the frame if it hits the arm. Yeah, the, the, yeah, your arm is just an extension of your hand to a referee. It can hit you on the shoulder almost and it'll be mm -hmm. a handball. Hmm. Here comes the throw in. Roberts. He's headed up. And eventually cleared right there by Tim Vince, senior defender. Neither team has yet to strike. Goff plays it back to Tipton. Tipton loses control momentarily. And uh, dispossessed, as they'd like to say. There you go. Working on my soccer terminology. Mm-hmm. Moving from, moving from football to football. American to worldwide. To worldwide. Tipped it on the far side. He's going to throw it in for the Bulldogs. You know, that's the one thing I love about soccer is uh, there's so much effort that never even touches the, sco the scoreboard, you know? Yeah, it, I mean... There's so many things you have to do correctly to get to get a goal in this sport, and it really is kind of a it's it's a, it's a weird hybrid because a lot of times it's an individual effort, but then it's also obviously a team effort. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of a unique thing to soccer for me. Yeah, I mean that is sort of the beauty of the game. I mean, you know, you don't if you read a score. You know, you don't see all the great saves or right. that great defensive play that happened. Yeah. That uh, that kept the other team from scoring. You know, so. Well, people who don't watch, they, you know, why, why such low scores? What what's what's so interesting about that? Well, that's exactly why it's interesting, mm -hmm. because the <laughs> the point <laughs> the point of it is it is to uh, prevent goals, and then obviously on the other side to to score them. And what's the adage? You know, oversimplified, but you know, yeah. the adage it it starts from the back mm -hmm. and moves forward. Yeah. I feel like both teams have kind of just uh, are going to let this first half come to a close. Some of the action has slowed down a little bit. The pace, yeah, has definitely slowed down. Yeah, the, the the early minutes were almost frantic. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff going on. The ball was all over the field. Ball finds some uh, no man land. Alejandro, nice play right there. That was nice. Kind of passed to himself. Chase down and good team effort from the Wolves defensively. And now they're going to try and play it through. And, and that's the beauty of the game that we were just discussing. Yep. How do you get it over that back line? Yep. I thought that one was true. Ball hanging in the midfield. Alejandro 
Soft pass to Tipton. Didn't meet it and loses it. Kirk on the far side. Francois kicks it back. Francois. And here's a ball right here for Alejandro, who drops it off and uh, just keeps it in play. Does Roberts. And that was a chance right there for the Bulldogs. Trying to move it ahead for Alejandro. Collision right there. And here's a nice ball. chance for the Wolves. It's three on three and kicked out. Nice defense. We're in the last, basically, you know, seconds, minute of the first half. Zero, zero still. And we got a good match here. Yeah, it has been a great first half. I think both teams have had a couple chances. The right. Wolves, I remember one shot in particular by Nitchman. Yep. Was really just a beauty and scooped up by Lawrence. So the, the Bulldogs, I wouldn't necessarily say they're they're fortunate to be in, but they've just played great defense and have really uh, hung in there here in the first half. They have, yeah. It's been it's been a great uh, a great effort from them. But you never know when the Wolves are gonna just like that. I mean, just, yeah. you know, he's off sides, but off sides. You just never know when the Wolves are gonna break through and just quick strike. Yep. Waiting on the whistle. I think that's what they like to do, too. So, I mean, you really got to be careful with, with the team like that, with the Wolves. And that is going to be the first half. We're all notched at zero. So, St. Paul's and Fountain Blue. We're going to the second where this game will be decided. And we're underway here in Mandeville, Louisiana, of this second half between the Bulldogs and the Wolves. The Wolves ranked number four right now in the state for soccer and the Bulldogs trying to pull up a huge upset here at home. Great Friday night crowd on this beautiful night. Yeah, there are a lot of people here. This is a nice crowd for a soccer match. Everybody understands the importance of a game like this. I thought that was the moment the Wolves were gonna put a nice shot up there, but it was a foul. Yeah. Ball move ahead and Lawrence easily Got to take that one and he'll punt it away. What do you think Fountain Blue needs to do in the second half if they're going to pull an upset? Well, it's kind of like I said in the first half. Fountain Blue is going to have to – they're going to have to be uh, constantly playing defense. That's that's a given here. But the, what they're going to have to do is balance that out with some offense. And I think Coach Ditchendorf understands that, and he's going to have them press. But how much they press is the question because St. Paul's is always going to be looking for – that quick attack. So we'll see how this uh, this second half unfolds. And if they can do it like they did the first half, Mount Blue's got a chance. Oh, and here's an opportunity for the Wolves. Robinson, but great defense being played on Robinson, who gives it up. Garraway. Still gets the shot through somehow. Yeah. It's going to be a punt from Lawrence. And you thought that, uh, thought Robinson was going to have a better look at that. Just seemed to have some space here on the uh, bottom half of your screen. But great defense by the Bulldogs. As we've said all night, you know, they, they bend, but they have not broken. Right. The Bulldogs really have to go the extra mile, too, defensively. You know, they really need to chase down every ball. And yeah, and, and after, you know, that gets, uh, I mean, as you can imagine, as the game goes on, that can get really tiresome. So conditioning will come into play. At least it's not freezing outside right now, like, <laughs> it, like most of the time when you play soccer. I mean, it's cold, but it's definitely not. I mean, these guys aren't affected by this weather at all.
Here comes a throw in on the far side from the Wolves. Again, knocks it out. Throw in by Quinn Roberts. Tipton going for it right there. Roberts to Tipton. Nice ball, crossing it to the other side. And trying to play one down. Into the crowd. To, uh, into the stands that ball goes. Into the stands. <laughs> it's like a modern soccer game. Yeah. That ball is going to fly back and uh, it's going to be a yeah, Bulldog throw in. Throw in for Kirk. Or should I say Goff. Goff throwing it in. Wolves clear. And now they're going to move on the counterattack. Richard. Nice ball right there, but Lawrence going to come up and. Wow, he had to boy. make that play. Man. He had to make that play. And that was a great ball from the, from the Wolves. Yeah. Back line, basically. Tell you, talk about hand-eye coordination. Yeah. Man. Wolves controlling on that far side. Ball goes up into the attacking third. Here's an opportunity for the Wolves. And it dwindles as Michael Lawrence once again comes up with the stop. Nice high punt. Tipton going back and kicking it forward. Richard. Nice vision. Flips it around to Robinson, who's going to have the quick throw in. Cameron Robinson throws it down the side to Garraway. Ball in the corner, kicked out. And it is going to be a corner kick. It's be a corner kick. Yeah, great opportunity for the Wolves. I know the last time they had a corner kick, boy, the ball was just perfect. Right. We'll, yeah. see. we'll see if uh, the captain can line it up again. These guys definitely, uh, you know, it's, it's it's a skill. These corner kicks, and they work on it. Work on, you know, perfecting them at practice. There goes a shot. Shot from downtown, and uh, looks like we're probably gonna have an injury timeout after the injury timeout. Trevor Watkins. Hope he's all right. And just as I say that, Lawrence has to come up and make a key stop. Yeah, he was running into a, an oncoming line that was running at him. That's a, <laughs> that was a great play from the goalie. The nerves of a goalie. Yeah, you got to have them. The goalkeeper's uh, one of the toughest guys on the field, no doubt. Nice movement here by the Wolves. And then great defense. Now they're going to call it a foul. That was Tipton Jason from the backside. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't really like that call. I thought Tipton made a great play. Ball thrown in the box. Dangerous. And it seems like the Bulldogs were able to solve that. Now they're going to call a foul again. Here comes a free kick for the Wolves. Dangerous attempt right here. Nice ball. Back post. Has somebody on cleanup and then misses it near side. Yeah, that was, that was a miss, but but did you see how cleanly he got it down from his chest to his foot and then, you know, it, yeah. it was a shot. It was a, it was a it was off, but still a lot of ball control. Yeah, that was uh, Eric Yin, the sophomore. He gets it right there, huh? Uh, no, that's Robinson. Okay. Here's Richard flipping the field. And that's what the Wolves do so well is, is they get the ball on one side of the field, and uh -huh. then they just know where their players are going to be on yeah, they the really far side, and they just they flip the field. 
You know what else is kind of impressive about the Wolves right now is uh, they don't make passes where – they don't just they don't just kick the ball in a, in a direction. Mm -hmm. They they make a pass, and a, I mean ninety five percent of the times they touch the ball, it's going to another person. It's going to a, a teammate, and that's uh, interesting to watch. Also, very efficient. And now Robinson comes up limping. Look, I wasn't playing at the speeds of, uh, of these guys in my intramurals game, but all I know is I took a cleat to the foot, uh -huh. and I have new respect for soccer players. Yeah, it hurts. It is a stinger. And it, and it sort of lingers as we get a nice ball into the box right here. Header, and Lawrence got to do something with it. Got to get out, and, man, the Wolves missed opportunity right there. I couldn't tell who that was on the far side that kept it in play, but beautiful header. Yeah, Lawrence tried to get down on that. Couldn't do it fast enough. But the end result is a goal kick. Mm. I'm glad to hear you're playing some intramural ball. You understand what these guys go through now. <laughs> I really didn't before. I had never played soccer How challenging in my life. is it uh, just physically you know, to, to, um, to be able to run as much as you do? No, oh, there's no doubt about it. Right? I these guys are, are just uh, conditioned – like no other. Yeah, I have some serious respect for the, especially the midfielders, mm -hmm. just the way that it's like a constant jog, but they're sprints, you know. Right, Intermitt um, intermittent sprints in yeah. between. Golly. Yeah, I know these coaches uh, for all of these high school teams in the, uh, in, the, in the month or so preceding the season, they really do a lot to, uh, to get these guys in top condition. And for the most part, they're already in condition because soccer, mm -hmm. as we all know, is played basically all year round. Yeah. So. And, and like you mentioned um, before the game, mm -hmm. talking about how these players, they know each other, you know, because right. they've uh, they played on the same club teams or their club teams played there. You know, it, it's, yeah. it is a year round sort of sport. Yeah, it's unique in that way. Uh, uh, it's in comparison to other high school sports, where you have football, it's mm -hmm. a it's a set season, and there's no you know there's really no high school level rec football you know mm -hmm. leagues. Um, so soccer and basketball really, I mean ba the basketball kids they all know one another too. Yeah, they come up kind of playing the same way. Um, but yeah, I guarantee you, all these kids know one another from from a probably a pretty young age too they come up yeah. together they grow up together and here we are high school big time game and fountain blue trying to put together some sort of offensive attack here yeah here's golf and he's gonna have a free kick this is a huge opportunity for the bulldogs yeah yeah they have to convert on uh, on things like this and again i'd like to see this go upper 90 we saw a a very similar shot in a prior game we did. Mm -hmm. Golf. Great opportunity. Great ball. Wow. And just above. Look at that. Wow. Man, that was a killer shot. And I thought that was going in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We get a great look at it from the press box to get behind it. Yeah. And, man, there's – there can't be but a – Yeah, well, I Two mean, or three – you know, maybe two feet between the uh, – the crossbar and then the field goal, yeah. and somehow he right. found his way in between. <laughs> yeah, he he almost hit the uh, the crossbar of the goal for sure. And we've been, you know, I've been covering these uh, these high school games for a couple of years now. Golf is a name that he's a senior this year. Um, another one we have out there, Connor Tipton is a senior this year. Um, these guys have been Taylor Chugden is another one that, that the name comes to mind. These guys have been playing ball for a while. And um, they would love nothing more than to uh, cap off their season with a couple of quality wins, starting with this one here tonight. Mm. But as you can see right now, St. Paul's just Man. offensively strong. Garraway just doing some mean work, and he's going to receive the ball in the back end, and they're just going to have to kick it out. There's that Fountain Blue defense coming coming through again, though. If they can just you know keep doing that, that's a tall order. But they are up to the challenge, it appears. Well, I think you're right. I mean, uh, at least for the first 55 minutes, you yeah. know, we're we're almost 15 minutes into this uh, into this second half. 
We're still scoreless here between the Wolves and the Bulldogs. And here's a low line drive. Yeah, that was a, that was a, a line drive right into the, to the heart of that box. Not too much to be done to that except uh, kick it straight back out. Yeah, here comes A Bear to really toss one in. He has a long ball. Man, he can really let it fly. Ball pops up. And now the Fountain Blue counterattack is on. Let's see what they can do with it. The, they lost control of it. Got it back. Goff referee, plays it through. Referee says play on there. Oh, there's goes. an opportunity right here for Fountain Blue. Oh, And he was man. off sides. Call him off sides. Oh, man. Wow. W would it be the initial, I guess what I'm trying to say is, who was the offsides guy? Was it the man who? I believe it was the the uh, the initial, not the the initial pass in, not not the not guy that the one that the yeah, goal. not man. I think, but you know, it was close. It was very very close. Wow, and that was an opportunity for Fountain Blue, like they haven't seen yet this game. And here's St. Paul's, who can't get a good shot on it. That was uh, a bear, but. Wow, you know they were both. I, I think they were both offsides. I, yeah. You know, if if anything, I mean, because if one's off the other, then then it, you know it doesn't matter about the other one. But uh, man, what a what an opportunity. Mm -hmm. And that's just uh, you know what that is part of the game. That's that's the trap. They you you practice that as well. Mm -hmm. And that is very very frustrating as a forward um, to have to deal with. If our colleague Tiger Edwards has anything had had anything to do with uh, with the rules of this sport, he would do away with offsides. <laughs> and he and I go back and forth a lot about that. Like, what's the point then? Just hang out by the goal all game. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that just changes the entire dynamic of it, <coughs> and uh, I think in a negative way for sure. So, but uh, you know, nevertheless. I like to see the uh, the guys on the sideline passing the balls in quick tonight. So yeah. A lot of times you'll, you'll you know half the game is spent chasing the ball down. Yeah. On the sideline, but this guy is on top of it over here. Yeah, I know. For me, as uh, St. Paul's has a nice chance right here, but man, just the defense from Fountain Blue. Just for me, <clears throat> it really the one thing I love about soccer is the tempo. Yeah. You know, the game is always occurring. And so when that ball goes out of play, and uh, yeah, it can really break it down. Yeah, great ball! Wow, you almost whoa! Wow, well, that very close. Whoa. I and really, Lawrence. I kind of we couldn't see from this angle. I thought that ball might have trickled yeah. in, but uh, that was a great, great uh, save from Lawrence. I mean, he, he caught me off guard as Goff's chasing. You got to be key right there. Nice play right there by the goalie, Hanley. But uh, caught me off guard. I thought he was going to throw it in the back of the net. Whoa. Dangerous play right there. Here's Tipton. Nice control by him. The, and ref the referee's letting them play for the most part. Mm -hmm. Substitution for the Wolves. And here comes a ball right there in the back. And here's a great opportunity for the Wolves. Just got to punch it home, and he does. Wow. That. What a play by Eric Ginn. Yeah, Ginn just, uh, just blasted that ball in the back of the net. And really, there's, there's nothing you can do as a goalkeeper. You just have to guess correctly at that mm -hmm. point. The ball, like you said, beat the back line. And, and uh, was that Ginn? It was Ginn. Ginn was able to just to stay on sides, which is the key yeah. in this whole equation. Um, if the trap works, if they were able to step, take a step forward and catch him, mm -hmm. but they didn't, and, I mean, it was one-on-one, -on -one, point blank in front of the goal. Yeah, point blank, I think, is the, uh, yeah. the key expression there. Yeah. 
Sensational shot and speed, and now the Wolves are just trying to uh, they're trying to get another goal. Well, they're going to have to regroup quickly uh, because now, I mean, I know St. Paul's is going to want to keep on, you know, the, keep it, the pace up yeah. offensively. and, and Tom Blue, throttle up. Yeah, they're going to have to really uh, settle down. One zero. The Wolves are now up. And here's another opportunity. Richard. Now I'm going to cross it in and uh, Lawrence scoops it up. Nice punt right there by Lawrence. Goes up. Long ball played. Nice job by the defense. Was nice. That'll be a throw in for St. Paul's, and this is exactly where uh, they scored the goal. The throw in was, might have been from that same position when he tossed it over uh, yeah. the back line of Fountain Blue. I think we can safely say something happened. <laughs> it's hard to tell. I was trying to read the uh, yeah. oh, nice play right here. And here's yeah. some opportunity, some some green grass to run. Golf. Golf. So much speed. Yeah, he's quick. Golf with the throw in. Looking for Tipton. Francois. Flips it over to that far side. Markham. Out of bounds. And it goes out. Going to be a throw in for the Wolves. You have about 18 minutes. 18 minutes left to go here in this match. In this second half. St. Paul's trying to get a... Uh, Match clinching goal while Fountain Blue trying to even it at one. Fountain Blue looking for the equalizer. It's going to be a, it's going to be a, a, a challenge. I mean, I, I felt like before mm -hmm. they were already climbing the mountain, and yeah. now it's you know it's like Everest. Yeah. Wow, oh, look at that. <laughs> kind of a heel flick down. Ooh, there's a shoulder. Yeah, I mean the the, <laughs> the fans the fans are uh, are getting vocal with that. Uh, that was a shoulder. Yeah, it was Caragliano. Yeah, uh, moving down the wing for the Wolves, who got shouldered and uh, draws the foul per se. Morgan on the free kick. Low driver. I tell you, you gotta really love soccer to keep your head in there. Yeah. <laughs> On a low line drive cross like that and to head it out. Man. I'm impressed. Yeah, it's time that people start understanding how, how physical this game is and how tough these guys are. You got a chip on your shoulder. I mean, maybe, but but it's 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 true though, you know. Mm -hmm. If you don't play, it's it's. I guess it's kind of maybe hard to uh, to to understand. But and these guys are just machines out there. Robinson falling down. Francois, here's Tipton controlling the ball. Look at that save. Yeah, good play by the Wolves' way, defense. Way to not quit on that. Again, Tipton. Tipton, nice ball inside. Wolves play good defense right there. Francois is chasing and then uh, 
Francois getting in the mix. Yeah, going out long. Miscommunication right there. See if it leads to something. Crafty little move, huh? We got a pile up. Alejandro somehow nice. doesn't touch it with his hand. Goes to Roberts. And then it goes out of play. Fountain Blue Luke looking for uh, the equalizer. That ruined some momentum they had. Oof. Wow. wow what okay. a stop. All right. That was, uh, <laughs> man, imagine if that would have uh, gotten under his foot like it looked like it almost did. I thought you were supposed to stop with, uh, with the foot turned out. Not necessarily stomping on the ball, mm -hmm. but I don't know if that makes sense. What, are you, what are you saying there? Ball's coming, ball's coming towards you. Okay. You're trying to make a stop. Yes. Your foot's on the ground. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you turn it 90 degrees out mm -hmm. and let it hit the inside of your foot. Right. Rather than, say, coming down and, and stomping on the, the, the ball per se. Well, like. You know what? Honestly, it, it all depends on your skill level. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I think these guys can all kind of trap it any way that they, they need to. Mm -hmm. But yeah, fundamentally, a fund fundamentally sound <laughs> stop is one that hits the instep of your shoe. Okay. So you're correct. <laughs> for, for my level. <laughs> was it even a question? Yeah, it was a question. For yeah. <laughs> That's right. For what you need to do in your intramurals when you go back to LSU, my friend, is stop it with the inside of your foot. You're right. We'll let we'll let some other yeah, players stop. We'll let, uh, we'll let some other players stop it with the bottom. We'll of let foot. Ginn and uh, that's right. Tipped in some of these other players. Right. Go ahead and mess around with that. Golf's going to check out the game. Ball thrown into the box. Two and fountain blue players collide there. And then put on goal. That was uh, Nitschman. I tell you, such a great match played defensively by Fountain Blue. Mm -hmm. And it's just that, that one goal that's glaring, you know? Yeah. And now we're going to have still got to be considered the Friday Night Lights. You get a great picture of it on your screen. And our cameraman and video coordinator Dave the Rave Williams always does such a fine job of uh, making sure every production here in the prep zone is top notch and professional quality. So hats off to you, Dave. Lawrence runs out. And kicks it almost to the uh, visitor stands. Yeah. Clears it out, and now the Wolves will have a throw in. Waning moments here of this match. About 12 minutes to go, plus stoppage time. Fountain Blue still looking for the equalizer. They find themselves down 1-0 to zero to the St. Paul's Wolves, who are ranked fourth in the state right now. Wolves backtracking a bit. Nice play right there. Uh, here's an opportunity. Near sideline, Morgan crosses it in. Oh, uh, and that would have been a beautiful timed header. It would have been, yeah. It was a little high. But uh, that was a, a great opportunity for the Wolves to go up another goal. Yeah, that was a great run. Nice defensive play on the far side by Markham. Garraway. And ball goes out the far side. Stay with the Wolves. Nifty little move right there. 
And Alejandro is going to come out of it. Fountain Blue possession. Stevens checks out the game as uh, Quinn Roberts comes back in. Ten minutes to go here in this uh, in, the, in the match. Ten minutes left. And, I, you know, and I'm not counting Fountain Blue out. They, they you know, mm -hmm. I, I still feel like they can put together a, a string of passes and get this offensive uh, unit down the field and maybe punch one in. Ooh, wow. Okay. There, yeah, there's a push yeah, from the back side. Take a look at that. We might have, we might have an issue. Yep. That's going to be a yellow card. So. Uh, so first yellow card of the season. Yeah, Robert's going to have to check out the game for a little bit. Yep. Well, what's the old, uh, the old adage? Uh, familiarity breeds contempt. I think that. Uh, is that right? Yeah, something like that. I think that might be happening here. These guys are just getting a little chippy. Mm -hmm. And the uh, referee's going to have to put a foot down. And he does. Low cross. Ball kicked out the box. And the issue for Fountain Blue is... a shot. Yeah. yeah. The issue for Fountain Blue is, you know, they don't want to give up a game-clinching goal. But they're trying to move guys forward yeah. offensively. And uh, that man, becomes a, a weird, uh, yeah, kind of a juxtaposition of this game. When you're down, you got to press. But then at the same time, you press, you, you're susceptible you're, on the back end. You're leaving end. yourself open, correct. Here's Alejandro. Here's a nice opportunity for Fountain Blue. A lot of dribbling there. Back to Alejandro, to Tipton. Tipton trying to make a move. He was just surrounded by uh, yeah. three wolves there. And that ball out of bounds. Throw in for the wolves. Bottom of your screen. Substitutions for the wolves here. And they are, uh, trust me, in no hurry. To do, to do anything now. That is uh, the one of the things I do enjoy mm -hmm. the most about having yeah. some guys on the side to help throw the balls in when they go out of play yeah. is you know we don't have this sort of sportsmanship ideal mm -hmm. at stake right. where you know guys are up and they're obviously not in any sort of rush but you know when the ball goes 20 yards out of bounds yeah. and they walk over there yeah. it's just I don't know. It's it's sort of frustrating and it sort of ruins the the tempo of the game. But so you're you're a purist, Andrew. I get it. You're a you're a soccer purist. Well, you know, I want to be at heart. I'm a <laughs> sports purist, I think, <laughs> to some degree. Yeah. But no, I get it, man. Yeah. You, I mean, obviously, St. Paul's is not in a hurry to do anything when the ball goes out of bounds. At the same time, you don't want to see it last. You know, uh, waste too much time. Yeah. But uh, that's just the way the game is played, my man. Yeah, that, that's one of the, uh, I guess, the funnier parts or the lighter side of things. You know, when I watch the um, the big international matches right. and the team's up at the end and they decide they're going to use all three of their substitutions. Right. But it's going to be some guy from across the field who's going to yeah. walk over. Yeah, he's just going to kind of like uh, make a. And he's going to do a handshake with the guy coming in. And, yeah. You know, it's just like, I don't know. You know, for that, that team that's losing, it just, it drives them, kind of grinds the gears. Anyway, that was that was my, my quip. No, it was, it, was, it was well worth noting, my friend. And here's an opportunity right here, this. Alejandro. Yes, he lays it up. Alejandro with a shot off the mark. He hit it at the same time that a St. Paul's defender was actually, you know, uh, getting in the mix. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it affected the, the flight of the ball. Yeah, no doubt about that. That was one of the uh, cleanest opportunities Fountain Blues had definitely in the second half. 
Yeah, but, I, think, uh, I think cleanest is uh, clean is a good word to yeah. use right there. Yeah. <laughs> because a lot of their opportunities just haven't been clean. Right. You know, it's they've had a couple free kicks, but that's about it, right? Yeah. Ball on the far side, cross to the middle. Richard ends up with it. Gives it up to his teammate. Man, how'd he get through there? Yeah. Somehow puts it in the middle, and it's going to go out for a uh, corner. That'll be a corner kick. Under five minutes to play, including some stoppage time here in this match. Stoppage time is just magic time that the referee makes up, basically. We don't know how much time that'll be. <laughs> That's a joke, but uh, yeah, it's just it's just it's usually a couple minutes, depending on how many injuries we have or what might have occurred during the game. This is for people who don't know, because I'm sure there are people out there who don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one thing. Uh, wow, look at that flick! Almost drops in. Nice play right there by the Wolves. Couldn't put it home. Yeah, that's one of the things about the game that uh, it's, it. There's no rhyme or reason to it, mm -hmm. at least. What are you from, saying, from man? My, what, what are you saying? From my point I'm of view. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Right. My, there, uh, I'll tell you what it is. There's no there. science to it. There's a know? lot of there's a lot of very subtle nuances to the game that in, in that unless you watch enough or, or or know someone who plays or play yourself that you, you they're difficult to pick up. You know, mm. like stoppage time. You know what? Thought the game was over. No, we're in. in there people got hurt or, or things happened. I think it's just the the fact of, you know, you, you could almost count up all the seconds it takes for the injuries, and, and uh -huh. it, it still wouldn't come out to when the ref stops the clock. That's why I say it's, you know. it's magic time that the referee only knows about. <laughs> and, and and I'm sure there is some science to it when uh, they're training these referees, but it almost feels. Subjective in some sense, you know. Right. Man, he likes the game. All right, let's go a little bit longer. Just keep yeah. playing. <laughs> That's right. Nice. That was just two two guys going after the ball there. I, yeah. I don't I don't have a problem with that at all. Oh. Wolves coming back the other way. Yeah. And tosses it up. Lawrence comes up with it. Two and a half minutes left in regulation. Ball on the far sideline, and kicked out. Just feels like Fountain Blue's down by more than just one. Right. You know. Yeah. I mean, it's it's just, it's been a really kind of a grueling game. I know for the Bulldogs, uh, and you know to a certain extent the Wolves also. I mean, these games can be uh, very challenging physically. But first impressions of both teams, you know, this being our first time to see them. Mm -hmm. Here at Channel 13, Andrew, what do, what do you take away from uh, from the Wolves and and uh, in contrast the uh, the Bulldogs? You know, I'd say on on part of the Wolves, just so much speed and mm -hmm. control. Yeah. I, I think that's for me what does it um, as far as St. Paul's goes. Yeah, they're so quick, and no matter who it is, whether it's the forward or it's the defender, they're so quick. As we get a shot by Goff, wow, yeah, ambitious. Um, they're so quick, but then it's the control and it's the precision passing and uh -huh. just the way that they have a great scheme mm -hmm. um, offensively when they have it on the near side and they can just cross it to the far side. They know where their players are going to be, and uh, I think they pick the right lanes when they're when they're going for those passes. Sure. So for the Wolves, that that's really what stands out to me. For the Bulldogs, honestly, I feel like they are fighters. Um, yeah, I really I, I agree with you. I came out um, thinking from this game that, you know, the Bulldogs, they're not going to back down to anybody, and they might come up short here today, but, you know, I really feel like they've made um, incredible effort uh -huh. defensively, and sure, they've 
bent, but you know they broke once, and uh, and that that seems to be the deciding factor. But boy, they've really played well tonight. So really, I think the bottom line here is that you can take uh, a lot of things you see here on this field and bring it to your to your squad back at school, man. That's what I that's what I'm seeing from this. <laughs> well, I got to bring it back to the intramural field. Yeah, you I know, think, I think you can. Well, the the biggest thing for me was that I started at like right midfield, and I didn't have the endurance as we get a oh he get a nice play right here from the Wolves, and he's gonna get there. That was. I think Robinson on that far side. I kind of like Lawrence coming out like that, man. I really do. That's, yeah. that's, 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 he's got to make that play, and he does. And like we said earlier, no hesitation. That's strong from your keeper. Yeah, good play right there by Lawrence. Right, kept in right here. And nice play along this side. They have numbers and plays it to the middle. Nobody on that back side. Richard can't get it to him. Wow. Richard still has it, drops shot. it off. Here shot. comes a shot, but... That's kept in. Lawrence able to block it down. So you started out right midfield, you said? Yeah, well, I started out at, at right midfield, mm -hmm. and my lack of endurance and maybe possible training yeah. um, led me to uh, play essentially a third striker, and I think my team was okay with it because I just I couldn't run both ways. So I, I pretty much sat back there with the forwards and just waited for that ball to come overhead and then just try to punch it in. You did some ball hawking. I did. Yeah. You know. I mean, if it was if there was no offsides, and I was, I'd, I would have been the cherry picker probably. I couldn't handle the running. Bringing it back to this game, uh, like we keep saying, the conditioning for these guys. No doubt about it. Very very strong. I'm impressed, and, and I mentioned the speed of the wolves, but the speed of the overall game is uh, is really what does it for me. Mm -hmm. Tipton going up for it. We are in stoppage time. Oh, and here's way. a one-on-one, -on -one, and he he's going to miss it. He just misses it. Bear. I mean, there's no more of a one-on-one -on -one than that, and there wasn't anybody 20 yards within him. Yeah, he uh, he just kind of he just kind of got a little a little quick with that one, and I'm sure if given the, the same opportunity, he would yeah. probably finish it a different way. And that's how this one is going to end with the St. Paul's Wolves taking the victory 1-0 over the Fountain Blue Bulldogs here at Fountain Blue. And we'd like to send our thank yous out to the people that brought you this game, starting with our superintendent, Mr. Trey Fulce, our director of broadcasting, Dr. Melody Swang, on sideline camera tonight, and video coordinator, Dave the Rave Williams, alongside me, Rex Sharp, the Golden Boy. I'm Andrew Franzella. Good night, God bless, you be good. You are now leaving the prep zone.